Candlelight is a New York City tradition. Candlelight is a service in that it opens in prayers, it has scriptural readings, and Christian music. However, it is also a concert in the sense that we bring the best of our musicians to perform some of the greatest pieces of Christmas work that have ever been composed. So in this regard, you can bring a friend who may not be familiar with the Christian church or the Christian tradition, and they would feel completely comfortable. Candlelight is uh, the one time of year where the church community and the greater community come together. Imagine singing joy to the world with a thousand other voices accompanied by an orchestra in this great space. It's always at the beginning of like the Christmas season and it really gets me like into spirit, so then I go home and I sing all the songs. Um, it, you know, it's, it's not your traditional lessons and carol service. We really present an eclectic mix of Christmas music. One of the most exciting parts to me is the history of Candlelight at St. George's. St. George's Church is the oldest church in the country that has hosted a service of lessons and carols. You're coming and being a part of something that is bigger than yourself. And it is for absolutely everybody. I think that's why it's been so timeless. Because the carols are so um, well known, I feel that anyone who comes to Candlelight will feel that they can come and sing and be a part of it. I think Candlelight is one of those wonderful, memorable experiences for families and kids. It's this kind of magical moment to hear this beautiful music in anticipation of the big day that is to come. For the person who's a Christian, uh, to hear uh, over 800 people sing Silent Night. It's a mystical experience almost. And for the non-Christian and visitor, you yourself can't help but be brought into that great story and be blown away by it. Because it's the greatest story ever told. This story of God becoming man to redeem people who aren't interested in being redeemed. <laughs> <laughs>